well, if you're a fan of snacking on all of those holiday treats during this time of year, you are definitely not alone. But not all treats are equal, right? That's why it's important to make smart choices so you can indulge without feeling guilty about it. And to show us a healthy recipe for peppermint bark, delicious, my favorite, you can bring to your holiday party or maybe gift to a friend. Alice Smith is joining us live. You may remember her. She's a registered dietitian with Alice Approved in Winston-Salem. Alice, I always love when you're on our show. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. It's actually pomegranate bark. So we can do oh. peppermint too, but pomegranate is a little healthier and super festive. So it's just dark chocolate pomegranate seeds are sprinkled on top. They're festive, they're beautiful, and they're also nutritious. So this is just five ingredients and the higher percentage chocolate, the healthier. So this can be made in a healthy way. No guilt. It's great as a gift also, or to take to gatherings or just to have on hand as a sweet treat. You know why I said peppermint probably is because it's what, you know, you kind of see and hear everywhere, but leave yeah. it up to you to put the perfect twist <laughs> on it and create pomegranate bark. I love that. Did you just it's create perfect. it we're, yourself? Yeah, we're just, yes, I normally do almonds on top and then adding pomegranate seeds is a great way to just add a little bit of crunch, a little bit of sweetness, and we're going to throw it together with just five ingredients right here. See it. So Take it away. It's dark chocolate, and again, the higher percentage, the healthier. So we have 72% dark chocolate, a little bit of coconut oil in here just to help melt that, so you can melt this on the stovetop or in the microwave, and then we're going to add nuts. So whatever nut of choice, you can do almonds, pecans, walnuts. So I have almonds in here. Do half of the almonds in there, and then you just have this perfect mixture. You can't go wrong with chocolate and nuts, right? I mean, you just can't. I know, seriously. So got, that's my favorite. Right there. And then you just pour it on your parchment paper. So you just pour that chocolate, nuts, and you're absolutely right. Pomegranate is a much healthier option, and they are in stores right now. So if you can't find pomegranate, don't worry, you can just do the nuts and the chocolate. You don't have to have it, okay. but it really is that added touch. Oh, I'm sure that gives it a fantastic flavor, an extra crunch. Yes, and so you will just add more almonds to the top of this. This is so easy. I mean, we're literally throwing this together in just a minute. So you have the almonds, so you can stop there if you need to with just the dark chocolate okay. and the nuts, but the pomegranate seeds, they're beautiful. And as we know, the more colorful, the more right. nutritious. So these are super nutritious and delicious. Do you get them just already um, those on top. made just in a container or did you actually seed that out of a pomegranate, those seeds? So I, I cheat and I buy the pomegranate <laughs> I <do too>. seeds. <laughs> I really want to seed a pomegranate, but I'm just, I'm just not there. I know me either. <laughs> but, but if you are, it's really impressive. But you can just, yes, buy these already seeds, and then you have to top it off with Himalayan salt. So just a little oh. bit of salt adds that salt, okay. sweet, crunch, and that is it. Five ingredients we had are how long chocolate, you... chocolate, coconut oil, nuts, pomegranate seeds, and a little bit of salt. And then what do you do after this? So you will just put this in the fridge okay. for two to three hours. And then once you get it out, you will cut it into pieces just like this. So you will have that in squares okay. and you can freeze it. it. It never lasts long enough with me to freeze, but if, if you don't <laughs> eat it all, you can freeze it if you want to do a big batch. And then I also, I love to gift this. So I give yeah. this to friends family, neighbors, they're already asking, you know, if I've made a batch yet this year. So it's definitely a hit and you can just wrap this up, make it just nice, put a ribbon on it. And again, it's nutritious. So I do 72% dark chocolate. So the key is the percentage of chocolate has to be on the package. So it okay. has to say the percentage in order to be dark, but no one will know that this is healthy. <laughs> no one will know that it's not that it's not milk chocolate. Yes, that's so true. We have a beautiful photo that we're showing now that you took that you've posted on your page. I love this, Alice. Thank you so much for showing us how to do it as well. It's healthy. It's quick, easy. I need convenient over here. <laughs> so thank you, Me Alice. Too. <laughs> 
Always Absolutely. great to I hope have you. you. Enjoy it. Oh, thank you. We will. And folks, you can find more information on how to work with Alice at aliceapproved.com. Be sure to give her a follow on social media. You can find a ton of healthy recipes and inspiration there. Stay with us. We'll be back after a short break.